everyone and welcome back to While You Were Cleaning. If you saw my recent Dollar Tree haul video, you saw that I picked up a jar from Dollar Tree. It's kind of like a votive candle holder that looked like the shape of a beehive. And so I mentioned doing a DIY with that. So I have seen some spring decor pictures recently that have to do with bees and beehives. So I wanted to put together a themed video about that for you all. So today's video has three different bee or beehive themed projects. They're all mostly from Dollar Tree products. And I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you do, please hit that like button, please comment and please subscribe. And we'll go ahead and get started. Here is the beehive shaped jar that I mentioned picking up from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using two of these today. First off, I'm just going to remove the black wire that's around the rim. I'll also be using some of this decorative rope from Dollar Tree. I wanted to mention that I bought these ropes at two different times. One of them was 13 feet and the other one was nine and a half feet. Starting at the bottom of my jar, I'm going to add some hot glue in the center and then hold that in place to make sure that the glue has dried. Then I'm going to add more glue around the center and then start spiraling my rope around this center point. You just keep adding hot glue and then continue spiraling around. I chose this little jar because it already looked like a beehive, but Dollar Tree does have other small jars or votive candle holders that would work just as well for this project. At this point, I am adding my hot glue onto the jar and then spiraling my rope around the jar on top of the glue. But once I start adding rope up the side of the jar, I add glue to the rope that is already attached to the jar and then attach my new rope to the existing rope. This makes the sides of the jar a little bit straighter. It's almost like a sleeve just being glued to slip over the sides of the jar. So remember I showed you how my rope was two different lengths. I do not remember which one I purchased first, so I do not know which one Dollar Tree is currently selling, but this right here is the nine and a half foot rope and it didn't go all the way to the top of my jar. The 13 foot rope I used on the other jar that I did and it finishes all the way to the top of the jar. So I had to finish off the top of this jar with an additional piece of rope. You'll have to use two or three things of rope depending on what the length of your rope is. I just finish off right to the top of the jar, just making sure that I cover all of the glass that you can see from the sides. I wanted to show you some additional ways that you can use these jars. So here is one option, just adding some tulips to the top. For my second option, I'm going to add a piece of rope to connect my two jars together. So I glue one end to each of the jars and I ended up gluing about three inches of rope onto the top of each jar just to make sure that it was nice and stable. And then here is a second way that you can use these jars, hanging them to look kind of like honey pots, but with some flowers in the top. Also, these yellow tulips were from Walmart and they were 97 cents. And for my last option, I'm going to finish off the top of these jars by adding some more rope to close them off to look like beehives. I started off by adding some rope to the rim of the jar and then I'm just going to spiral around each time just coming into the center a little bit farther with my rope so I can bring that rope to the center to close off the opening. And here you can see it really does end up looking like a beehive. 
You could just use one jar and add some twine to hang it with. I decided I wanted to do two jars together, so I just found a space to add some twine and tie it on to one of my jars, and then I went over to the other one and then found a space there as well. And each time, just do a double knot to make sure that your twine is nice and secure, and then add some hot glue to glue down any stray edges. And here is the final option for these jars to finish them off to look like beehives. And I'll show you how to make this adorable little bee in just a few minutes. For my next project, you're going to need a hexagon shape. So I googled hexagon and this is the very first image that came up and then I printed it. This is going to be a piece of wall art that looks like a honeycomb. So I'm going to use these thin popsicle sticks. I picked these up from Dollar Tree as well, and they're just the natural wood color. Using the printed hexagon as a pattern, you're just going to add a dot of hot glue and then add your popsicle sticks on one at a time, just working your way around the patterned paper. This hexagon picture was the perfect size to line my popsicle sticks up right to the outside edge of it. Once you are finished gluing together your first hexagon, you're just going to move it to the outside edge of your printed picture and line up the edge of your popsicle stick with the outside of the hexagon picture and then just start working your way around again to make a new hexagon. You'll want to use one of the sides of your finished hexagon as one of the sides of your new hexagon so that they are glued together. I chose to use these thinner unfinished popsicle sticks to make my honeycomb pattern. You can also use the wider unfinished ones or even the colored popsicle sticks if that's what you would like. You also have the option of staining these popsicle sticks another color. So if you are going to stain, I would just do that first before gluing your popsicle sticks together because the hot glue is not going to take any stain and you may have some parts that are the wrong color. The nice part about this project is that you can make this as large or as small as you would like and it's super affordable when you can buy a hundred pack of popsicle sticks for only a dollar. I'm not necessarily telling you any certain pattern to go with as far as making your own honeycomb wall art piece. I'm just showing you how I put mine together. You can add to it and make it larger. You could make it smaller. I just wanted to show you how all of it is glued together and how it comes together to be one finished piece. I used these foam mounting tape squares to add my honeycomb to the wall. The honeycomb is very lightweight, so these work well. I just cut them in half lengthwise so that you couldn't see them behind the popsicle sticks. And the mounting tape I did get from Dollar Tree. My last little project for you is the honeybee that I showed you earlier on my beehive. So I'm going to use three of these pom-pom pieces that I got in a pack from Dollar Tree. I started off by hot gluing two of the yellow pom-poms together and then I hot glued one of the black pom-poms onto the end. Here you can see it's taking shape as a bumblebee. 
Next, I'm going to twist a black pipe cleaner around something that is a similar diameter to the pom-pom pieces. I twist it around twice and then I cut it so there's just two loops of the black pipe cleaner. You're going to pull these loops apart just a little bit so that there's some distance between your stripes on your bumblebee. Next, pull the yellow pom-poms through these black pipe cleaner loops. And then just adjust the stripes on your bumblebee evenly. Here he looks with his stripes. For his wings, I just used a piece of white tulle cut in a rectangle shape. If you don't have tulle or you don't want to go out and buy some, you could also try using a piece of thin napkin or white paper or even white fabric. So I twisted the tulle at the center to make this kind of bow tie shape. I added a dot of hot glue to the center. You could also just add the hot glue straight onto the yellow pom-pom instead. But then I just added the wings to the back of my bumblebee. And here that cute little bumblebee is all finished. I used those same mounting tape pieces from Dollar Tree to attach my bumblebees onto my honeycomb wall art piece. Thank you all so much for watching today. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more themed videos like this one, please let me know down in the comments. I hope you have enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next time. Bye!